Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a foundation declutter and this this is necessary. I have so many foundations, it's almost embarrassing, but I've had some of these for years because I've been meaning to do another foundation to clutter since my last one, so I felt really guilty getting rid of anything unless I filmed it. So that's why it's a little bit extra out of control. I will link to the rest of my declutter videos down below. Speaking of foundation, starting on Monday, I'm gonna be doing Oily Skin Diaries Week. I let you know on Snapchat, so I wanted to let you know here on YouTube as well. I'm gonna be reviewing seven foundations over seven days on my Oily skin so be sure to stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and get into this declutter just to give you an idea of the madness this is foundation drawer number one <laughs> and then over here is foundation drawer number two in combination with some like travel stuff so obviously this needs to be sorted So I've sorted them kind of in a manner that sort of makes sense. There is 150 foundations here. This is actually laid out in my kitchen on my island. Um, uh, yeah, so let's get to it. So right off the bat, these are a few I know I want to get rid of. And anything that's brand new, I'll be donating to a shelter here in Toronto. Anything that's used, I'll try and pawn it off on a friend. This is the Guerlain Aqua Nude Foundation, and it looks really beautiful. I got it at an event, but it's far too light for me. The Essence Soft Touch Mousse, this is the deepest shade they have. Again, too light for me. Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer in the shade Honey 8. I thought this was going to be my shade, but it's not, so I'm going to have to get a deeper shade. I do want to review that. From Vichy, this is their Tanti Doll foundation, again, too light. And then the Revlon Youth FX, too light. Here's a few more that I know that the shades are off. I'm actually gonna be keeping, I thought I'd mention the Revlon Youth FX because I just did. I'm keeping it in 400 caramel, but getting rid of it in 410 cappuccino. Getting rid of the CoverGirl Cover Vitalist Elixir in Classic Tan. Oddly enough, even though Classic Tan matches me in all of their other foundations, it's too dark in the Vitalist Elixir. Along with the Ordinary Serum Foundation in 3.1, that is too dark, I'm shade three. And then the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. This is in 340, which again is too deep for me. I'm like uh, anywhere in between a 315 to a 330. I have the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint here, which I owe you a review on. Um, I'm gonna be keeping the two shades in Medium 2 and Medium 3, Cuba and Annapurna. And then I'm gonna be ditching these shades in Cuzco Medium 1.5 and Malaga Medium Dark 1. These are the Clinique BIY Blend It Yourself Pigment Drops. These are meant to be mixed into a moisturizer. Again, I owe you a review on these. I'm keeping this shade 150 and 155. 155 is definitely quite deep, but I figure I could use it to warm up a foundation if I need to. And I'm gonna be ditching the shade 140 and 145. I have some kind of smaller foundations here, although these are actually full size. Full fluid ounce in here, they just look smaller, they're more economical packaging. Shade three in these, coverage and serum foundation from The Ordinary. Mix in drops from Hard Candy in Deep, keeping these, and Golden in the NYX Total Control Drops, keeping those. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, these are both the same shade in shade 330. I think this is a backup I bought when Target was closing like years ago. And then this is the shade 310, it's more of my summer shade, so I'm gonna hold on to these two and ditch this because I clearly don't need any backups. From Estee Lauder, I have the Double Wear Nude and Double Wear 4W1, 4W2. Actually, I'm in the middle of filming the uh, Seven Days of Oily Skin Diaries right now with this one. So far, so good, so I am gonna hold on to both of them. Some great oily skin foundations here, MAC Studio Fix Fluid, keeping this for sure, and then I have the new and the old Revlon Color Stay, which I wanna do a video on, and then I'll probably end up getting rid of one of them. I don't need two, but I do wanna do a kind of a side-by-side -side video. I have a bunch of cushion foundations here, keeping all of these from Maybelline. I bought a backup of one of them, and I'm holding on to it. These don't last as long as a liquid foundation. They still last, okay. Okay, I mean like not lasting power on the face, like length of time you get to own it, but I love them. Uh, from Physicians Formula, this is going because they don't make my shade. Then these are both cushion foundations, one from The Body Shop and then one from JCAT. I need to review both of these. This is in the shade Camel, which I think actually might be too light, but I'm gonna try and make it work, and then Wanaka Honey. So I actually just swatched this on the back of my hand and it is way too light, so I'm gonna get rid of it. That sucks. I have some airbrush foundations here, which I really like both of these from Sephora, the shade Honey, and then from Dior, I have the shade 400 and 501, and they 
they both work for me just kind of like summer versus winter. I have a bunch of Kat Von D lockets. I honestly don't know how I got all of these. I think maybe I Maybe someone gave them to me in a swap. Um, but this is like the original one that I bought years ago. I wear the shade Medium 62, which is what these both are. So I'm gonna keep these. And then this is Medium 56 and Medium 57. Oops, sorry, which don't work for me, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I have yet to review both of these, but these are the Fiona Styles foundations in the Luminous and Matte Finish. I actually bought the Luminous by accident and then had Shell pick me up the matte while she was in the States. But I got these in the shade 80. I'm gonna hold on to them and I have worn them both a few times and actually like them both, even the Luminous. So I have two foundations here that most people didn't like that I liked. So I'm gonna be keeping the shade Dark in the MAC next to nothing, getting rid of Medium Dark and Medium Deep. And then in the Makeup Forever Water Blend, I'm keeping the shade Y415, Y455, and ditching Y405. Moving on, I have the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation, which I've really been enjoying. Um, I'm gonna be keeping the shades Bamboo and Cafe. They're very similar. One's a little more neutral. Uh, Cafe is a little more neutral and Bamboo is a little more yellow. And then I'm gonna be ditching um, these other three shades. I got these in a press package. That's why I have so many. Um, but I have Maple, Fawn, and Amber. They're too dark. One's too light. And then I have these from Marc. I'm gonna be holding onto this shade Medium 11. It is a little bit pink for me, but I do wanna do like a full face of Marc makeup, so I'm gonna hold onto it for that. And then ditching 11 and seven, they're far too light. So here are some more foundations that I know just don't work for me. Sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm working with natural light because I need so much light and the sun is starting to do weird stuff. But this is the Essence Pure Nude Makeup. They don't make makeup that's dark enough for me. Again, I picked this up or my boyfriend picked it up for me while he was in Serbia last year. They don't have makeup for me in Serbia either. Then this is the brand, a Canadian brand called Dion Cosmetics and it just doesn't match me, but I do like their primer. Two from L'Oreal. These are no good. I do have a shade that matches me though that I'm gonna be keeping, so why don't we just do that now. Keeping the shade 210, getting rid of 206 and 208. From Garnier, I've had this forever, their BB cream. It does work when I put a darker powder over it, but um, I've had it forever. And then from Face Atelier, this is too light for me, it's in the shade seven. I have a few foundations here from Clarins and Clinique. The first is the Super Balanced Silk Makeup, and I didn't really love the shade match on me, and I didn't really love the results, so I'm gonna get rid of it, along with the Clinique Even Better. This is just a sample I've had for a million years, so that has to go. Clarins Ever Matte, unfortunately, the deepest shade of this does not work for me, so that's gonna go. The BB Cream, I'm gonna hold on to. The shade is okay, I still haven't really tried it much. And then the Everlasting Foundation, the shade is actually a little bit deep for me, so I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a lighter shade because it does seem nice, And I'm good, but I am gonna hold on to this. Maybe I'll use like a foundation lightener with it. I have the Stellar Beauty Foundation here, getting rid of S14, keeping S16 from Wet n Wild. I think I actually wore Desert Beige in my review, but Caramel is a better match. I'm gonna keep Caramel and ditch those two. And then from Burberry, this is their Cashmere Foundation, which I have yet to review in the shade Caramel and Warm Honey, and they're both kind of good matches. I need to kind of play with them around, play around with them a little bit more, so I'm gonna keep both. I have kind of like a random smattering of foundations here from Inglot. I have the shade 77 and 83 in their Perfect Cover Up HD Foundation. I'm gonna be keeping 83 and getting rid of 77. From Fenty Beauty, I don't know where this is, where in time this video is going up, but I still have the shade 330. I think I'm gonna exchange it for 310. Smashbox 3.1 in the Studio Skin. I like this and I'm keeping it. H&M, I like this and I've reviewed it. It's actually a quite a good foundation. Um, I have the review, it doesn't say the name on it there. Then from Neutrogena, this is their Shine Control Makeup in Warm Beige, still need to review this, still need to review this. LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation, I think this is gonna be an oily mess on me, but this is in the shade Bronze. And then from Arbonne, this is their Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Again, not a great shade match for me, a little bit too pink in the shade Pure Beige, Deep Beige, so that's gonna go. So this is going, the rest are staying, this is being exchanged. Oh! So these guys just tried to escape, as you saw. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I have a review on it, I like it, but it's not something I ever reach for anymore, so I'm gonna go, they're gonna go, Joe Fresh Stick Foundation from Hourglass. I know, I don't know. They sent me a PR package and then one of them got lost and then it showed up and then I ended up with a ton of the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I have three shades. I have Amber, Honey, and Golden Tan and I'm keeping all of them. They all kind of work. Sometimes I mix them together. It's an amazing foundation. I, I need to review it for you. Another stick foundation that I'm holding on to is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Tan Sand and Tan Deep Honey. And then I'm gonna keep these, but only because I wanna do a video on foundations that are bad for oily skin. Um, the One Heck of a Blot and the Anastasia Stick Foundation. So they'll probably go after that. 
this just like disappeared on my skin. It was such a letdown. So I have the Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo. This is an amazing foundation. If you have oily skin, you're looking for super full coverage, it is freaking fabulous. So I'm gonna be holding on to the shades Chestnut and Sienna and getting rid of Copper because Copper is just a little too warm. So these foundations are all going. These are just old and they don't match me. This obviously has seen better days. The Invincible Coverage Foundation in the shade 8, Stay Matte But Not Flat in the shade 7. I actually like the powder foundation version of this. And I've actually never tried this, but the shade is no good. It is the Vichy Derma Finish in 45 Gold. These three, on the other hand, are staying. I don't know that this is like the best color match for me, but I do want to review it. It is the uh, Caramel Avon True Color Ideal Nude Foundation from Hourglass. They released their Immaculate Foundation in new packaging. This is in Sable, again, a little bit too warm for me, but I want to review it. And then the L'Oreal Pro Matte, which I love in the shade 108, 108 Caramel Beige. The Koki Cosmetics HD Foundation in 80. This is gonna stay. This is gonna go. I've had this for so long and I've been meaning to review it and I never got around to it, but it's just, it's so, it can't have any of its integrity left. I've had it for like probably five years. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Also need to review this guy in Tan Sand. The Rimmel Stay Matte Foundations. They finally released some deeper shades in Warm Beige. So I'm going to review that. And then the Dermacol Foundation in 223, I think this is. Or 224, sorry. Some more foundations. The EX1 F400. I'm going to keep this. The Milani Conceal and Perfect in 07 Sand. This is going to stay Dior. I really like this foundation in the shade 41. I think it's Ochre. The Benefit Professional. I've really been liking these in the shade 4 and 5. They're both going to stay. And then the Marcel BB Cream. This is going to go. It's in the shade Dark, but it's too dark. Moving on, we have the Sonia Kashuk Soft Matte Foundation. I'm like a broken record, but I need to review this. It is in the shade Camel. It seems to be a common shade match for me. The Power Fabric from Giorgio Armani. I need to review this in the shade 8. Anything that I haven't reviewed, let's go ahead and say I need to review it. Hard Candy Glamouflage. I reviewed this a long time ago. I'm going to get rid of it. It's just kind of getting separated. Elf Acne Fighting Foundation. I want to re-review this. And then the um, Amazonian Full Coverage Foundation, in, again in the shade Tan Sand. Uh, this is in the shade Sand. This guy clearly has to go. It is the Joe Fresh Sheer Tint. I actually used a lot of this, but I think it was pretty oily on my skin. From Models Own, this is their Runway Matte Foundation. I'm gonna be holding on to this. I need to review that. The Pure Bare It All Foundation. I've worn this a few times and I've really... And then this is from the Balm in the shade Dark, the Even Steven Whipped Foundation, holding on to this. Here from Maybelline, they are the Better Skin Foundations. I'm keeping 90 Warm Honey and getting rid of 80 Rich Tan. It's just not dark enough for me. From Bourjois, this is their Air Matte. I really like this, it surprised me. Um, it's good for the winter, it's a little bit too light for me in the summer. From MAC Face and Body, this is like one of the first foundations I've ever bought. I've literally had this for like seven years. This, this has to go. From Rimmel, oh, one more from Maybelline here. I'm gonna get rid of this. I actually love this foundation though. Coming on sale for five bucks. But I saw a sneak peek from New York Fashion Week. They're re-releasing it, I think, and it was a beautiful foundation, so I'm excited that they're coming out with it again. And this is obviously old and needs to be given away, thrown out. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up, holding on to this, and then this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. I'm getting rid of it because it's just not dark enough. Here we have my extensive CoverGirl foundation collection. I've already gotten and kept a few of them. I love CoverGirl foundations. So I'm gonna be holding on to this is the Stay Luminous, but even if you have oily skin, it's it's pretty nice. Um, so that's in Classic Tan. I do have a backup, which I'm going to get rid of because I just don't need two. It's not like that good, unlike the Outlast, which is my absolute favorite. <laughs> These two are shades that don't work for me. I wear Classic Tan, and I have worked my way through... My God, five or six of these, so I love that. I will keep it. The Clean Matte BB, I like these. I like the shades of those. And the Ready Set Gorgeous 310, again, a really great foundation. From the Vitalist line, I'm going to be holding on to this shade 657 and getting rid of 645. That's Warm Beige is going and Golden Tan is staying. So here is the finished product. Over here is the keeping. Over here is the going. In the going, we have a grand total of 66 foundations leaving my collection, leaving uh, 84 to stay. Obviously, this is not an amount that you need as a regular makeup user or even a makeup junkie, but um, I've got some work to do. 
I hope you enjoyed that declutter. It took me so long. Even just sorting out those foundations took I think 15 minutes alone, not including all of the like deciding and swatching and there's just paper towel with foundation on it all over my kitchen. Anyways, that was tons of fun. I feel so much better. Stay tuned for a concealer declutter next and be sure to stay tuned for the Oily Skin Diaries week. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!